Alrighty, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of the Kiki Squad. Today I'm coming at you guys with a first impressions on this foundation, which is the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation from Bobbi Brown. And it has a SPF of 15 and it's supposed to be a medium to full cover foundation. I picked mine up in the shade 6.75, which is Golden Almond. This is my first experience with the Bobbi Brown foundation, so if you guys want to see how it looks, how it applies, and my thoughts on it, keep watching. So what it claims to be is a 16 hour wear buildable medium to full coverage foundation with a natural multi-dimensional matte finish that com that's comfortable, breathable, and weightless. So we're going to see it says it's for normal combination and oily skin types. I'm combination so hopefully this will work great for me. It has a matte slash natural finish. So it does come with a pump and I'm just going to test it out on my hand. And 6.75 Golden Almond is described as a medium brown with olive and yellow undertones for deep skin. It looks a little bit warm on the hand. Okay, so I was so ready to put the foundation on, I haven't even primed my skin yet. So I'm just going to take that off on this brush and use that in a little bit. To prime my face, I'm just going to use a little bit of Milk of Magnesia. Um, this is something I always do or I've been doing a lot more lately. I'm just going to apply that on my face, especially like in the creases of my nose, my T-zone, where I get oily. Okay, and so it dried down a little bit. Now I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Face Base and just go over this. I always use like double primer, so I use the Milk Magnesia as like a first primer. And then I'll go in with a cream primer after. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Face Base. It's like a yellow tint, if you guys can see it. And I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit. And I'm going to color correct my face. Um, you guys know I have really been working on my skin and I still have like some little problem areas like over here is getting a little bit it's getting a little bit dark because I'm not wearing sunscreen like I'm supposed to even though it's winter you still want to use sunscreen so I'm just going to correct the dark spots using this MAC corrector this is their conceal and correct duo little spot there spot there and my mustache Okay, so now that I'm good and orange, I'm going to take that foundation that I pumped out earlier. I'm going to go ahead and put that. Yeah, that color matched me perfect. Maybe I should have did one side first. This little synthetic brush from one of those like eBay sets is starting to shed. So hopefully I don't get too much hair on my face. Definitely looks like skin. I'm not one into skin like foundation because they really never usually cover. I think they look good. And like I thought it is a little bit warm to be yellow undertones but it looks good. So that was two and a half pumps. It has a little scent to it. Like nothing really strong. And I'm just going to take the butt of my beauty blender and just bounce it to further blend. I would definitely say this is a medium coverage, not necessarily a full coverage because I put on like three pumps and I wouldn't say this is a beat face. It's definitely covered, but it's not like beat and it does look like skin. The feel that it gives is of a tinted moisturizer, but it's definitely more pigmented than a tinted moisturizer. So I'm just going to finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do my highlighting, contouring, and finish up my eyes and then I will be right back. Okay, I've done something I normally don't do. I baked a little bit. But I'm just going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and dust this off. This is in the shade Dark. I always set every foundation with powder. And I'm going to bronze on my face with my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Deep 4. I don't know if they changed the shades or not, but that's the shade this one is. And it's just a warm brown color. Then I'm just going to take a brush and just blend everything together. For highlight, I'm just going to take this Becca highlighter. Um, I forgot the name and I can't see them a little bit of right, honey. It says lilac something, but it doesn't have no lilac in it. So 
but I'm just going to take this and highlight my face. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush, this little Sonya Cash It brush, and just concentrate it like right there on my nose. I've done my hair, fixed my hair, and I did a video on this if you guys want to check that out. I will link that above. But um, yeah, I'm going to take my NYX Lip Pencil and Cola. And I bought this new uh, matte lip gloss and spice. I think my sister and them are always talking about this, so that's where I got it from. And then for a little bit more bling, I'm going to add one of these Jouer lip toppers. These, I hate these. They suck. <laughs> but I bought them, so I'm going to use them. I'm going to take the one in St. Tropez. And just... That's it. Just a little bit. I don't think I like that. Yeah, That messed up my whole lip gloss. I don't like that. So I'm going to go back in with the spike. And I'm going to spray my face to get rid of the powder look with some MAC Fix Plus. This is the coconut one. It came out with some collection. I don't remember, but... Ooh, that smells good. And then because it didn't spray, you know, even, I got some wet spots. So I'm just going to blend them in with my powder brush. That is pretty. And I think if I hadn't done so much to my face, uh, dark eyeshadow highlight and all that stuff this can be like a normal everyday you know wear foundation it's weightless it covers and it's not that full cover where you look beat or feel like you have on a lot of makeup now if i hadn't done all this extra to my face i think this could be something that i could wear all the time but it still looks like skin i didn't have any plans on going out today but my mom is having something at her house so i'm gonna go over there i'll check back in one second back home just so you guys can see how it looks but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up and share i love you guys and i'll talk to y'all later well so it's been a good little while and my face still looks good to me i have a little bit of oil or shine right here and pretty much that's it so i really like this foundation i'm ready to take it off now because i'm ready to peel these lashes up off me but yes, I would definitely recommend this foundation. It is weightless. It covers well. I wouldn't consider it full coverage. More like a medium coverage and it does look skin-like and it held up really well. So, so if those were any other things that you were looking for in a foundation, I would definitely recommend this one. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Get back to the